guess. You do love roses. No, I don't. So when you come here and like to walk around and see what they got. No, I don't. This is my first time being in roses this year, I think. Hello. Good morning. Today is Sunday. It is November 19th. This is the Sunday before Thanksgiving week and spend a week with me. I have so much plans today for Sunday. I It's currently 9 a.m. I'm about to go to the library to get some work done um, for my paper requirement and then some work for my clinic that I need to do. Then I have a nail appointment at 2 p.m. So I'm going to leave the library, go straight to my nail appointment. Then I need to go to the grocery store. I'm debating on going to the grocery store because I am going home. I'm leaving to go to South Carolina um, early Wednesday morning. So I'm like, do I really need to go get groceries? But then I'm like, do I really need to be... If I don't get groceries, that's going to be me eating out Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. But I will be home for the rest of the week. So it's like it will balance out because I won't be eating. I'll be eating some home-cooked meals. But so I definitely got to go to the hair store because as y'all can see, my hair is not done. So we have a lot to do today. So let's go. We are en route to our nail appointment. I'm saying our, like, well, y'all coming with me? Shoot, this is our, our nail appointment. My nail appointment was originally scheduled for two, but my nail tech takes me, whoo, anytime I see my nail tech takes me, I can't say that I do be having peace of mind and knowing that she probably is asking me to come early and not to cancel on me. A lot of folks can't relate to that because I know y'all nail people, y'all nail girls, y'all hair girls, they be like, hey boo. When my nail tech takes me, hey boo, she's most likely texting me to come early. And as suspected, she did. She asked me to come in at, asked me could I come in at 12.30 instead of two. And I was like, mm-hmm. While I'm deciding on my food, let me show y'all my nails. When I tell y'all she slapped, oh my gosh. Like, I love them. Right now I'm about to go to the beauty supply store because I need some things to do a quick weave on Tuesday because I want a quick weave for Thanksgiving. That's my Thanksgiving hairstyle. And so I need a couple things, just like little silly stuff. Um, right now, before I go do that, I, I need food. Like I'm literally having a headache. But I don't know if I want to go to this barbecue place that's near my nail tech house. That's about to be near the place I'm going to go get the stuff in the beauty supply store or if I want to go to Kane's. I've never seen a Kane's up here before. I didn't even know they had Kane's. So right now I'm about to look on this website and see do I want to try something new or eat Kane's? Because I don't know what I want y'all. Okay y'all so what I decided to do was I um decided to go to the smoke in the city. I'm trying the smoke in the city um barbecue joint place that is near my nail tech house um and i decided to get that because the biggest thing i'm trying to get out of in life is um i keep saying um, is being a creature of habit i often pick up the same things like if i like something i'll keep getting it over and over again um never wanting to try new stuff none of that so it's like i'm trying to get out of that and start trying new things and being open to you know not always going to the go-to or going with the safe option because that's really what i be doing i be trying to uh oh my bad 
I'll be trying to go with what's safe. Okay. Y'all, we have retrieved the food. We about to try it. The hair store I had went to. Um, wait, let me get some hand sanitizer. The hair store I had went to, um, when I tell you that hair store was huge, that hair store was so big. I had a huge hair store because one thing about a huge hair store, I'm saying store, store. I'm trying to be polite. I mean, I'm trying to be correct. I had a huge hair store because in the, a huge beauty supply store means you about to spend a lot of money because they just got a bunch of stuff. And I hate, and it's like, because it's so big, you just be walking around looking for what you need because the store be so big. And then you start seeing a bunch of stuff that you don't really need. So you just be spending money. Um, Catfish nuggets. I just bought the catfish nuggets just to try them. It's funny because I said I'm cooking tonight, so I don't understand how I'm going to eat all this. Oh, and then I got sweet chili wings with mac and cheese, and it came with hush puppies. Y'all, this food smells amazing. I'm about to try it. Amen. Let's try. Mmm. Oh baby, I'm so glad I didn't go to Kane's. Mm. I forgot to get needle and thread from the hill stuff. I got everything but that. I ain't gonna tell you how much I spent in the hill stuff because I'm embarrassed. You yeah. know, this is good. I had to finish them cat nut, them catfish nuggets off camera because huh, that was so good. Where's the bell? All right, now let's try this mac and cheese. Hold on. Before I speak prematurely. It's cheesy. It's very moist. It's real good. I love that it's like really cheesy. It's still baked because I don't know what's going on with you new folks. But y'all are obsessed with having soupy mac and cheese. And mac and cheese ain't supposed to be soupy. Y'all need to leave that rule alone. Okay? Now, I don't mind the rule. If y'all can make it with the rule and it ain't soupy, cheesy, like that. I mean, mac and cheese, I mean, it's mac and cheese. It need to be cheesy, but it also need to be dry. That's why, not dry. Mac and cheese supposed to be cheesy and baked. That's the word. Sticking together. Y'all, I still ain't tried the wings because I'm too busy tearing the mac and cheese and the hush puppies up. some wet wipes whoa the wings I'm coming back just for the wings the wings chef's kids season perfectly I got the sweet chili sauce I will be back for them I will be back for them okay that was amazing I gotta go get this needle and thread from this place so I can feel like my mission is complete and then I'm going to the house okay I want to do a quick little haul and show y'all what I got from the hair store. Um, I ended up getting like this shade, this color because it's easier to cut out so like I can actually see it and then I got a needle and that's just to sew my little ankle braids down. I bought a little rat tail comb because I need a new one. I got some stocking caps, some scrunchies. Then I had got these like shears. Then I got me a little brush. Next, I just got me some little dill clips. Oh gosh, the stuff that costs the most money. Well, not this. I just bought some more hairspray. Um, the oldie but goodie pump it up spritz. Let me know what kind of spritz y'all use. In my house growing up, it was pump it up, okay? I had to rip on some hair glue. Of course, I bought me some little protective shield to um, 
protect my hair from the glue because I do not want that glue on my hair. When y'all be doing quick weaves and I don't see y'all like molding y'all hair, the cap down to your head as a protective barrier in between the glue and your real hair and them caps. I be worried about y'all. I don't, I be worried about y'all. Um, but I'm not judging. It's just some of y'all don't care about y'all real hair. The most expensive things I bought. I bought this dry shampoo from Paul Mitchell. I think it dry wash refreshes hair shampoo and set. Yeah, this is definitely a dry shampoo. Um, so I bought this because I want this quick weave to last as long as possible. And then I bought some new um, hairspray, hairspray, the Sebastian Shaper Plus. Good morning, good people. Today is Tuesday. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because there wasn't much going on. All I had was class and all I did was work out. And then I came home and washed my hair. I just got back from the gym and I have work today from 12 to 5, but I also have a supervision meeting for my clinic. Um, and that's at 12. But mind you, I'm going leaving to go to South Carolina it early in the morning. I'm trying to, I'm getting up at like 2.30 a.m. I lie, like 2.45 a.m. because my plans are to have my car and everything locked and loaded, packed, ready to go. So all I need to do is wake up, put my clothes on, brush my teeth, wash my face, and get out the door. Um, I am taking my clinic partner to the airport to hold me accountable to make sure I'm on the road by 4 a.m. So I have to take, pick up my clinic partner in the morning at like 3.15 a.m. Um, and get her to, she's going to Dallas and not Ronald Reagan, which is DCA, so it's a bit of a hike. But I volunteered to take her so that way as soon as I drop her off, I can get on 95 South and head to South Carolina. I'm about to bring my hair down, run to campus for my supervisor meeting. Mind y'all, my supervisor meeting is at the same time I'm supposed to be at work. Don't tell nobody, tell nobody, don't tell nobody. Which means I now have to get my happy behind to school, get situated because I, like I said, I have a client meeting, a uh, supervisor meeting for my clinic work for a project, for a final product that I have due for a client, for the clinic. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't wanna go. I'm not wearing nothing, obviously, not wearing nothing cute to class or I mean cute to campus because. This is what my hair look like. And this is a prime example of what I want my channel to show. Representation. Because y'all, look at me. Like, I literally just did a breakdown for my quick weave on camera. Because somewhere, some little black girl need to see me doing this with a Georgetown Walk shirt on. Okay? From work of the day um it's currently 5 35 and i just got back home good i had to stop by the store run to the store right quick <sighs> i do not have the energy to pack and i'm trying to be done by 6 30 so i could just sit down relax and watch the game before i go to bed um but i still need to pack and i'm having a technical difficulty we have technical difficulties <laughs> we have tech 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 um the hair that I'm using to do a quick review, I had to buy. Some, I got some last minute hair from Amazon, and it's saying it's supposed to get here by 10 p.m. tonight. And I'm beginning to worry because Amazon, where's my package? Now I know it's only 6 p.m., but it's like I want to go ahead and pack and pack completely. And it's other stuff in that package that I want to take home, so I'm a little annoyed right now. 
and it's making me not want to pack it's making me not want to go home but i really do have social anxiety and i will find any reason to cancel plans in the first place that's just something that i do and i want to stop doing it but i be doing that all the time when like it come to packing and going on a trip my plan is to pack within the next hour and I know I can do it. I know I can do it. I just need to get the motivation. But my package not being from Amazon is really blowing me. So I'm finna pack and I'm trying to stay off camera as much as possible because I look crazy. My hair not done. I got these crazy looking braids in my head. And yeah, I, I don't want y'all thinking I'm on here. I don't want to be on here looking crusty and dusty. So I'm finna pack and stuff and then we finna go to bed. And I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow once my hair is good. Okay? Good night. I can't stop crying. So many tears after all these years See my days are cold without you My days, yeah And my heart can't take it no more I keep on sold out um which is hilarious i believe that i was supposed to get shade 17 or 19 oh there's a 16 let me see how the 16 looks like. i went into ulta for the curling iron they did have the curling iron and i knew that ulta carried um i knew that ulta carried fancy so i tried to see if they had that fancy stick but they did not so um, I just ended up getting just the curling iron. I'm not gonna lie, I did come to Sephora. I came to Sephora to see if they had it because I was like, well, if they, you know, had them, then maybe the Sephora might have them. But it was a Sephora that'd be like inside of a Kohl's. Um, but they did not have the shade that I needed. Okay, I'm curling iron in a lot. I've been wanting this for so long, for like for years, and I just never got it. But it was on sale. So I think I saved $50. Of course I got it. Um, some NYX Butter Gloss. I got the shade Madeline. I never heard folks talk about this shade. I always hear people talk about Fortune Cookie um, and Creme Brulee. And I have both of those. And I wear Fortune Cookie about just about every time I do my makeup. It is my go-to. But when I saw this shade, I just was watching it. And I was like, oh my gosh. This is giving like a perfect nude for my skin tone. Let me see how much longer I have on my trip. Mind y'all, 
even though I'm in South Carolina, I'm not in the low country yet. And I think I still have about two hours left. So I need to get back on the road. Um, I'm about to see how far I am from the house. I'm two hours and 16 minutes away from home. So bag is secured and I have made it home to South Carolina. Um, my first stop, as soon as I got in town, like in town as being my hometown, I stopped by the Chinese place. And I'm gonna show y'all how our Chinese food look. Cause when I'm telling y'all to me, I ain't no to me. I know it for a fact. We have the best Chinese food here in the low country, okay? So, pay attention to how the chicken wings are red, okay? Hold on. Let me get it to focus. Yeah. You see how the wings are red? And not just regular brown? And they're not just like red as in like food dye. Like they actually have a totally different taste than regular chicken wings. And this is what our rice looks like. I got extra ones because my family, every time I come home, they know I'm going to get some Chinese food. Even though the Chinese place is near them at all times, they never be thinking about eating Chinese food. But when I come home, everybody wants some of my wings, so I just got an extra order of wings. But I got house special fried rice, and this is what our rice be looking like. Yeah. So, that's my dinner for today. Um, I'm not getting back on this camera until my hair is done. Goodbye. Chips. Good afternoon, good people. It is Thursday. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family from me and mine. It's 12 p.m. And I'm on my way to go run. I just finished doing my hair. Well, somewhat. I still have to like bleak my leave out and you know, cut some layers in my hair, put some big old bombshell, beautiful curls in. And I have so much to do. And it's probably about to take me like an hour to run because I'm about to run a long run. But whatever. Don't care. I'm not rushing. One of my aunt's dinner is ready at 2.30. I would love to make that on time, but that don't even look realistic. I'm not rushing today for nothing or nobody. One, most specifically because people be like, oh, we eating at three, we eating at four. And y'all already know, if you're black, if somebody say dinner's at two, that really means dinner's at seven. Now I'm capping out, I'm capped out. Um, But folks be like, oh, we eating at three and don't really eat till five. So I'm not rushing today for nobody. I really don't care to see nobody or nothing other than like obviously my grandparents that I'm at right now where I'm like staying at. But like when I say I don't care to see nobody, like I'm not rushing to like meet folks and go sit in folk, other folks' house and eat and stuff. Like I'm cool if I don't even leave my grandparents' house today. Like I'm not rushing my get ready process today because I'm not in a rush to see nobody. Period. So I'm about to run. Your girl did a very bad job at vlogging today. I'm trying to fix this. It's all in my face, all in my way. I did a really, really bad job at vlogging today, but it's it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I know I told you Happy Thanksgiving earlier, but clearly, here's the Thanksgiving face, the face, the Thanksgiving beat down. I love my makeup today. Hair, lay. My leave out a little poofy, but it's okay. Not like poofy, poofy, but you know. I could tell. But y'all, the hair is like, get into the body, yaddy, yaddy. Okay? Get into it. The pants, these are like my favorite pants. Y'all probably know that. The pants are from American Eagle. Bodysuit is from Aritzia. Tomorrow I'm trying to get up early because I'm trying to get a little bit of studying done. Well, I'm holding the camera this way. I'm trying to get a little bit of studying done. And I'm going to the Carolina game to see Don Stanley and the girls. Y'all know I'm a huge Carolina fan. We're going to see Don Stanley and the girls. They're playing Mississippi Valley. Mississippi Valley State, I think. And I'm pretty sure I think John Morant, little sister, play for her. So I think that's going to be cool to see. But while I'm home, of course, I'm going to support my favorite WBBB team. WBB team. WBB team. Between trying to finish this head, my curls are still holding this is the best i've ever like held curls for real i'm gonna go do my skincare routine take a shower night night in my sydney colson voice but okay good night y'all bye stop for getting copyrighted good morning y'all it is friday and it's currently 11 40 p.m 11 45 and we are en route on the way to, um, I'm on the way to Columbia, which is about an hour and 15 minutes away from my hometown. This is my first game of the season in person. 
and the next game that I thought I was going to, I just found out that it's actually not home. It's at a neutral site. So I think this is going to be my first and last game for the rest of the year because I'm going to be in D.C. during when all the other games happen. And I'm not going back to another game until January. So that's that. We're on the way to the game. I'm super, super excited. And uh, let's go. Let's go. I love Don Staley. I love that they're putting on for the state like this as a born and raised South Carolinian. Um, I don't know. I take a lot of pride in this and what she's doing for women's basketball. And it's happening in my very own home state. Because um, I feel like we underrated for real. The state of South Carolina in terms of sports is definitely underrated. So it's just cool to see Don Staley building what she's building in my home state. It's cool. It's, it's putting on. And y'all already know this is the black girl stand account. Good evening. I just got back home. It's currently 7.52 p.m. Which is insane to me because I usually be doing my nighttime routine in the shower by now. But um, I had stopped by my other grandparents' house, my mom's parents, um, to see them, hang out with them, and hang out with my little brother. He finna go to some party, some little party. Um, so I let him be. But I wanted to come on and at least do a little haul. Makeup melt away. Cleansing balm by pharmacy. The next two things I got, y'all know, y'all saw me looking for these as soon as I got to South Carolina. I ended up getting two of these, the Fenty Ease Drop Blur and Smooth Stint Tick, Tint Stick, <laughs> Stick Tint, um, Tint Stick. I got the shades 17 and 19. So 17, um, 17 is warm neutral and 19 is just warm. 19 alone appears to be um a shade darker than my skin tone but with a golden undertone and i'm not quite that golden my undertone undertones are warm neutral y'all probably can't tell now but i have like hues of like redness in the center of my face and then on the outside it's like more gold but i'm not quite warm and i'm not cool either um like textbook definition warm neutral so warm neutral works perfect for me which was the 17 but i think it might be too light on its own and this is definitely gonna be my winter shade and this is definitely gonna be my summer shade but for right now i'm gonna just mix them <sighs> this has been sold out everywhere but it's the danessa myricks um beauty yummy skin blurring balm powder and I got the shade 7. I'm going to be honest with y'all. The makeup girl's been hyping it. And I wanted it. I matched this to my skin in Sephora. Perfect. Number 7 worked perfect for me. So if you are somewhere near my skin tone, this will be great. I really wanted this. But I want it in a different scent. <laughs> I wanted it in vanilla. But I got... This is the Fenty Skin um, Shimmering Body Butter. And I got the scent. I got it in Warm Cinnamon Shimmering. Warm cinnamon and it's the shimmering whipped oil body cream. That's the exact name of it. Two things I got which were not on my list. So that's why I said technically three. These were the three things that were not on my list. The cleansing balm and then these two things. So I got um I just restocked on my eyebrow pencil. I I've been using the ABH brow pencil since I've been doing my makeup literally since high school. 
senior year of high school. And then I also decided to pick up the brow pen. One of my favorite um, beauty influencers I always be using the brow pen. She be doing the soap brows. And I feel like I'm the last one to get on the train of the soap brows. I still be doing my brows regular, but I just honestly arch my eyebrows. So I, I didn't even do my eyebrows yesterday for Thanksgiving. You already know what I'm gonna do. When you see the Celsius out, we're about to go run. It's currently 11 a.m. I've been waiting for it. I've got up this morning at like 6:45, but I just been chilling. I did not want to work out that early because it's cold outside. Hey okay, y'all, I done made it to the track. Um, this is where I'm about to work out at and get my run in. Am I really in the mood to run and work out? No. We have a visitor. Slide over so they can see you. Tell them hey. Hello. Say hello vlog. Say hello vlog. Hello vlog. Vlog with a V. <laughs> they can still hear you and see you. Y'all, um, my plans for the day um, got moved around. I told y'all that I was going to the Carolina and Clemson rivalry tailgate game. But, um... My line sister, me and my line sister both um, agreed that we really didn't want to go like that for real. But she just texted me and told me she going. I said, well, you'll be going, you will be going alone because I'm not going. So instead, I am um, signed up today to run errands with my granny, with my grandma, who's sitting here looking unenthused. So she go grocery shopping on Fridays, but she didn't go yesterday. Why you didn't go yesterday? So I ain't felt like it. You just didn't feel like going? I ain't want to go nowhere. So what did you do yesterday? Tell the vlog what you did yesterday. Stayed in my house and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to my... Oh, let me tell you what her errands are today. So she wants. She wanted me to bring her to Denmark. Denmark is also in the low country and it's about... 15 minutes, 20, 15 minutes away, 20 minutes away at most from Barnwell, which is where I'm from, where we from, Barnwell. Um, so we, <laughs> so I had to bring her to, um, Piggly Wiggly over here. Do y'all got a Piggly Wiggly where y'all from? Probably not. That's how you know you in the country. We have Piggly Wigglies and IGAs. In Barnwell, we have an IGA and Walmart, but my grandma do her shopping at IGA. Ain't no shopping really at Walmart. And then we used to have a place called Reeds, but do they have Reeds anymore? I think Bilo bought all the Reeds out. No. We used to have a Bilo on Barnwell too. I don't know what happened. Anyway, so I'm bringing her to the Piggly Wiggly here in Denmark. And then we at Roses. We're going to go on Roses first. Because she want, um, what you want out of Roses? Nothing particular. Just going in there to look. Just the love. So y'all, how I love Sephora, that's how my grandma and my auntie love roses. They love, love roses. And they love Kato's. Y'all know y'all know about Kato's. If I you know about Kato's, you a real one. I don't love no roses. You do love roses. No, I don't. Grandma, you come here and like to walk around and see what they got. No, I don't. This is my first time being in roses this year, I think. So you gonna sit here and say you don't love roses? No, I don't. I might go in roses and look and see what they have, but I don't love, rub, love roses like that. Oh, no. I think she's capping a little bit. So, do you love Kato's? I, I go in Kato's every now and then. I very seldom go in there anymore. Why you don't go in there like that? Because I just don't. Y'all, we waiting on my auntie to get here. My auntie has arrived. Can you open the door? Hey, auntie. Hey. Tell the door? vlog, hey. Hey blog. At tell them how, um, how you doing? All is well. How's your day going? It's nice and quiet. Why you didn't go to work? I didn't want to go and then have to rush. And every time I go out there, the students come and you just want up for that. 
Yeah. But I'm you need a break. It's Thanksgiving. I do. Well, I, I'm working tomorrow. I told the vlog that roses was you, that roses and Kato's was one of you and Grandma's favorite um stores. She talking about this ain't one of y'all favorite stores. Isn't this I, one of y'all favorite stores? I just come here to get my snacks. So, but this ain't one of y'all favorite stores. Kato's is my favorite store, but not Roses. Y'all wouldn't say Roses is one of y'all favorite stores? No, so if, I'm, if I'm looking for something quick, like my snacks and stuff, because they, the, they have the cheapest snacks yeah. in this area. Okay. Okay, y'all, we about to go in the store. Y'all, I don't know why turkey wings be this big now. Turkey wings ain't used to be this big back in the day. Who wanna cook them big old buzz wings? That's that big though, y'all. Man, that's big to me. Oh, that is way bigger. This is way smaller now, but this still even bigger than what they used to be. Y'all, that bit is ridiculous. I wouldn't want to eat this portion. just turned 12 and I am on my way back to DC it's Sunday um, I didn't leave Barrow this morning until 8 30 a.m. Um, I never planned on waking up really early to come back so I literally slept I slept in I kept snoozing my alarm and slept in and I just got on the road at like 8 30 and you know I still have five hours left I've only been driving for four hours I'm kind of tired not gonna lie But somebody's waiting on me. Like my professors, I have an assignment due. And I mean, granted, I don't think it's gonna take me more than like an hour and a half to do it. I hope not, and definitely not more than two hours. But the point is, like I still got schoolwork and stuff to do. And I'm trying to eat. And it's just like, I'm not about to deprive myself of food to get no, to like rush to get to school and get this in. So I could turn, I don't have no deadline on this submission, the thing I gotta submit today. I just literally have to submit, um, submit it by the night so that way she can review it by in the morning. I can send this thing at 3 a.m. if I need to, but when I tell you, y'all, when I tell you that I hate 95 with a passion, I hate 95 with a passion. Home cheese, peach, feels in We have made it back home. It's currently 7.30 and I just walked through the door. Mind y'all, I left South Carolina at 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m. That was an 11 hour trip. That was supposed to be seven hours and 30 minutes. That is what happens when you leave, when you don't get your behind up and leave at 3 a.m. 
but I'm not gonna be the dead horse. Instead of going to the library, walking to the library at 7 30 at night because I don't feel safe. Um, especially especially won't feel safe walking back. I'm about to sit my happy behind at this kitchen table, get these edits done, and send this um send it for review to my professor. That way I can try to have some time to wind down. Which is crazy because I usually start my nighttime routine right about now. This is just insane. I hate being thrown off my little routines. But I'm about to sit down, get my work done, and then I'm going to come back, jump back on, and show y'all a little haul, some little packages that I ordered for Black, some things that I ordered for Black Friday that already came. So, yeah, let's get this work done. It just felt really daunting. I'm gassed. I want to show y'all some of the stuff I bought. On my little Black Friday sale, I supported Diara. I love Diara. Um, so, of course, I have like probably, I have three pair of Laura Vays already. So, this is my, currently my fifth pair. I had to get the babies that keep selling out. I mean, they keep selling out every time she drop them. And I got Unbothered Denim. They are so freaking cute and I cannot wait to wear these y'all get into this get into them like let me go see what they look like on before I put them on camera because I might look stupid hold on okay so here's what they look like on me I think they're so cute they fit my face really cute and pretty I really like these I like how the box is a different color it's cute it's so cute on me I love these. I already have an outfit in mind for these. Oh, can't wait to put these out. I really like these. Y'all ever be ordering so much stuff that you just like forget what you ordered? That's how I feel right now. I'm like, what is this? Oh, these some. Ooh. Now that I cut the bag, these some gym leggings that I bought. This is my favorite brand of gym leggings. I'm wearing this brand to the gym tomorrow. I already picked up, got my outfit in mind for what I'm wearing to the gym tomorrow. I love this color. Should I might wear these? No, I'm not. They need to be washed. Um, so about some leggings. I don't know what this is. Yes, I do. This some lashes and some shirts. I love buying these lashes from Amazon. They literally look like strips. Every time people see me, they be like, oh my God, I mean, not strips. They look like extensions. I used to get lash extensions my whole first year of law school. That joint was too expensive. Couldn't keep up with it. Hey, baby. All right, and then I bought these workout tops. Just like some basic crop tops like t-shirt crop tops that'll go with any color of my legs that I put on then my first Hanifa package has arrived y'all ah! I'm so ready for the rest of my Hanifa stuff to get here I bought four items so this is number one out of four and I bought the rose petal top Ooh, okay quality just a top I bought a size large but look oh it got adjustable straps I'm like looking at it Anyway, it's pretty much just like this backless like crop top that I bought. It's called the Rose Petal. What is this? It's called the Rosy Petal Top Sunflower. This is so cute. I bought some pants in this shade too from them. So I wonder if I could wear it together as a cute little set. That would be nice to know. When I saw it, I was like, oh, I got to get that for the spring, summer. When is Cherie by Cherie? What is it called? She by Cherie coming out? Spring, summer. October, November. Good morning, y'all. It's currently 6.45 a.m. I am fully dressed for the gym. I'm going to show you my gym fit for today. Had to fix me my water. But, um, yeah, I'm about to head to the gym and do my workout. I think for today, I don't have like a new, I didn't plan a new workout last night. Most of the time I plan my workouts the night before or sometimes I'll just use a version of a workout I've already done and I'll just switch it around by the time I get to the gym. But I think tomorrow I want to, of course, do an EMOM style workout. Which just means a HIT style workout. If you don't know what HIT is, HIT is high intensive interval training. 
and it's just a workout a type of workout that keeps your um heart rate up the entire time what i do is when i play my workout because i do this store this style i get my ipad out i pull out my flex timer flex timer pretty much keeps track of the time it's like a running clock that shows you how many minutes you have left etc etc so oh, mind you like i'm still using weights so it's like my body's getting truly a hybrid cross training of like strength training and conditioning and hit Megan Thee Stallion, she's a prime example. That's the kind of workout she did. But I started doing this stuff way before I knew Megan was, way before Megan started posting her content. So when she started posting this kind of stuff, I was like, whoa, now we're doing the same workouts, mamas. So now, y'all, I be listening to Megan so hard in the gym because I just be listening to it like, I know Megan put in that work. But now I got her in my ears, like, I know she put in that work. So, girl, you can't stop. Point is, you get what I'm saying? Like, her work ethic, her tenacity in the gym. Definitely, and it, even when I saw hers, I was like, okay, I got to do more. I remember seeing Megan workout videos, and I was like, oh, no, I got to get even more intense in the gym. Like, she just really inspired me to go hard while I'm there and not be lollygagging in the gym for real, not be just chilling and, oh, like, just going to the gym to say you worked out, but in reality, was your workout really intentional? Was it really intense? Did you really get the best? Did you maximize the benefits from your workout today? A lot of the times I wasn't, but now I train with so much intensity. I'm going to have to film a whole different workout vlog for y'all to show y'all how intense i be training and i'm just proud of myself and i am 45 pounds down this is the first time in a long time i'm like have quick weave i do styles like this every now and then um so for me personally i'm not pressing my hair out every single day to make sure that my leave out is blended just not doing it i have not pressed it out or like straightened it since I did the whole install. It did survive two workouts so far, but I'm about to do a very high intense workout. So I'm gonna see how that to say is we already know it's black women in the gym. Yo, you and your hair, your hair in that gym, let it be, girl. Let it let it duke it out. May the best woman win, okay? May the body win, the hair win. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? A jacket from H and M and I literally bought it for the purpose to wear it to the gym. These leggings are from Amazon. Um, they're like the I think they call like ombre QQQ, the QQQ brand. Um, they're so cute. They make the bum look amazing. Like, they make my butt look good. I'm not trying to flash out too much, but oh, and this is just a short sleeve, like little workout top from Amazon. And then my shoes, of course, my shoes and socks. My socks are from they Nike, but I ordered it from Amazon. And then the shoes, I got my shoes from Dick Sporting Goods. They're just the Metcon fives. And if you work out. And you do like hit plyo. I definitely recommend these. These are like absolutely amazing. Excuse me. They're like absolutely amazing. I have run in them plenty of times, but like, and sometimes I still do because I forget my running shoes, but they are not my go to to running. Okay, y'all, but that is officially it for this vlog. <sighs> I'm sad about ending this today, but it's been a week and needs to end. Um, in the meantime, I'm so happy that y'all are tuning in, that y'all are liking the content, that y'all are liking the vlogs. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Comment and let me know what type of videos y'all want to see more of, what you want to see less of, any topics y'all want me to talk about. I am about to, I am going to do a sit down video right after y'all see this vlog. No, I think y'all going to see the sit down video first. But the point is, let me know what topics y'all want me to talk about. If y'all want to know the like nitty gritty of law school, things that people don't know about law school, you want me to address law school myths, what it's actually like to be in law school, mental health, all that kind of stuff, the competition, jobs, is it really worth it? Like I will tell the T. Anything you want to know, I will know. Like don't be afraid to comment nothing and ask me if I want to talk about it. I mean, if it's something that I feel like Okay, I don't want to talk about this subject because I do have a job when I graduate and I cannot, I can't afford to lose that type of resource. So it may be something to where I have to comment and ask you, you know, what's your social media handle? And I'll just DM you the answer if it's something that I'm not comfortable posting or sharing publicly. But I will not, I'm never going to ignore none of y'all. That's a promise. So let me know what y'all want to see, what types of content y'all want, what type of topics y'all want me to talk about, what type of vlogs, what type of day in the lives, nighttime routine, morning routines, anything. Let me know what y'all want to see. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. In the meantime, I hope y'all enjoy. And I cannot wait to see y'all again. Bye, y'all.